we separated agriculture from cities. We said farming, that's not for cities, that's for rural areas. But now because of climate change and shocks in the system, droughts, hurricanes, various issues that are affecting this global supply, we've realized we need to bring agriculture back into cities, we need to restore it. If we look at Singapore as an example, right, they import 90% of their food, so they represent cities on the most extreme edge of having a food security issue. They lack space. They've developed policy and zoning and incentives around urban agriculture that say this is allowed to be done on top of a parking garage or allowed to be done in a vacant area. They even have urban planning aspects of the city itself that have agriculture themes. They're building a forest city. They're building an agriculture city. They have a grant program which is very mature, significant millions of dollars for international companies to set up pilots in Singapore as part of the grant. And this covers everything from alternative proteins to urban aquaculture to urban agriculture with vegetables and fruit production as well. They also are investing in the talent. One of the key things is that we need talent in the city to be able to operate these farms and to help them scale. So Singapore actually has a kind of Masters of Urban Ag Tech program that you can take to understand how do you bring these into the city effectively, what are the various business models, what are the various technologies to make that happen. But I'd say Singapore has now moved into the front runner of having all of the available infrastructure needed for that.